Hello everyone. As you know, last video I showed you how to connect the index.js to the index.html and how to work index uh, how to work JavaScript into our index.html. So today we are going to be creating a random number generator and this is how we do it. So first in our index.js we're going to create a variable called random number one. And in this variable we are going to hold math.floor. And if you are wondering what math.floor is, it is a function that returns the largest integer less than or equal to a given number. So it will round up and or down. So if we go back into our atom, we're going to put math.floor. And in the math.floor, we're going to put math.random. Math.random, if you didn't know, returns a random number. Now, we want to do the number by 4, because we have 4 images. So, 4. And then the rule is you have to do plus 1, because if you don't, the number can be uneven, um, like or not uneven necessarily, but a negative number, which you don't want negative and super small number. After this, we have to put obviously our semicolon. And now to test out if our random number is working, we can console.log it and put random number one. Now, if we pull up our website on Google, we see that we can go into console.log, which if you didn't know, if you are on a MacBook, there is this view thing in the top on the, on the left hand side, there's view and you will go down to developer and a JavaScript console. This is the console. As you can see, the random number is in fact working. Every time you refresh, it's going to give you a different number in the realm of 1 to 4. So, as you can see, that's working, and now we want to link our images to the random number generator. Also, quick side note, I just wanted to say one thing that I still do today, which that means all programmers do it and you need to be very careful is that when you are typing out anything you always want to double check it because for me I was getting an error because I put style.css instead of styles that's why the page was showing up white instead of this peachy orange color so you obviously need to be careful and aware because most developers do this and that's why they get big errors and they're so confused they go for the big stuff but in reality it's the simplest thing. So now we'll get into adding, linking the images to the random number generator. First we are going to get rid of our console.log. Under this bar random number one we are going to add another variable called random fruit image the random fruit image is going to equal fruit plus random number one plus dot pn dot jpeg most of the time it'd be dot png but the only reason we have JPEG is because that's what we did. That's what we saved. We're going to create another variable named random image source. In this variable, we're going to put 
images slash plus random number one. This is because this is our image source and whenever we have a random number be generated, the images will come from our images folder. The next thing we'll add is another variable. This variable will be named image1 and this will equal the value of dollar sign. This will equal the value of dollar sign image zero. Then we're going to use something called the set attribute. A set attribute sets the value of an attribute on the specified element. If the attribute already exists, the value is updated. Otherwise, a new attribute is added with a specified name and value. Images.set attribute. In the parentheses, we're going to have source, we're going to have source, and random image source. Now, we are going to do the same thing, but with random number two. Now, our images are linked to our math.floor, math.random, random number generator. In future videos, we're going to be adding this to where you could see it on the website where it shows the images and it shows who won and who lost. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot. Have a great day.